What's up guys? So this one is not a crazy production video or fast cuts, movements and edits. Just a very relaxed, chill, Merry Christmas video and just a little update of what I've been working on uh, behind the scenes. And I was super, super busy with developments, new products and a lot of good things that are coming in the future that you guys are going to appreciate. So I figured I'm just going to give you a quick update. So first of all, we have a new behemoth, a new dual motor build that is going to go uh, onto the runway hopefully this weekend if not this weekend the other weekend just going to give you a glimpse of course two 8s systems two tp powers i am using highland obinot for the gears uh seems like really cool gear so i um, decided to give them a try obviously using all the carbon fiber drive shafts and whatnot and we're not going to talk about this now i'm going to talk about some new products so the first thing that I wanted to show you is something that I've been working on and developing behind the scene, and it should be ready for sale very soon. These are aluminum, perfect pass, aluminum, satin finish body mounts. Do you know this problem? So a lot of times, uh, either drag or speed runs when there's a lot of load on the car, this happens to the rear and it actually touches the wheel. So, uh, good case scenario, it's a little dirty here. Bad case scenario, it actually blows the tires and it happens a lot of times in speedruns. I just think that those are just bad design. Uh, it's just not big enough. So they're okay with the infraction body, of course. But uh, where is it? Infraction body, there somewhere. But um, with, with what we're doing, it's just not big enough. It's just not, not supporting enough. So even if you're using the aluminums, uh, rear and front, a lot more in the rear. So what I decided to do, now Scorched made these, they're amazing, don't get me wrong, I still recommend buying them, they're really, really great. So we're not going against it, we just added another feature, kind of treating the problem from the source, you know, so um, when this is doing that, no more. So you actually have a full support, actually if I'll take a jack body, this jack body for example is going to go on this car, just to give you guys an idea of what exactly like i said it's not a fully edited video it's done like it's going nowhere it's absolutely solid because the support goes all the way to the end so five holes for the rear and three holes for the front obviously in the front i couldn't do more than three holes because if it would have touched sorry about that see that's what you get with an unedited video, I guess. But it is what it is. Hopefully you guys go with the flow and enjoy this video anyway. Just decided I'll do something a little bit more personal, kind of between us. A nice holiday video, right? So, um, support in the rear. These are coming out soon. Obviously, like I said, they're aluminum with black satin finish. That was, I was super picky about because I think it's just beautiful. It looks good with everything you're putting on the car. And in the front, you can have five. Obviously, it's touching the wheel. So, three is the best and the biggest we can do in the front so this support so this is new products that is coming out soon this is how they look of course with the perfect best logos and whatnot and um super super happy about these i'm gonna probably make another lunch video just for these uh just so i'll have something to put on amazon but uh, for now this is the product coming out very very soon so Stay tuned for this one. Uh, this is the old V1 Batwing. I actually made for the last three months, I've been working on a new V2 Limitless. And we've added, first of all, we changed the finish, which is freaking gorgeous in my opinion. And we've added a very, very interesting feature here, which are the aerodynamic slots that we actually designed that actually um, increase the surface of this wing when the car goes sideways it increases the surface and it creates resistance and it wants to go back to straight but anyway i'm going to talk about this in a future video that is coming out for this they're not yet in the amazon warehouses all over the world we're still waiting for them to be everywhere so it's easier for people to order with prime shipping that's the other product and some other products that we're still not revealing but i'm just trying to show you as much as i can this is this build Beautiful, beautiful, gorgeous build that I can't wait to rip with. This should be a very interesting build. And uh, theoretically, this should be theoretically a world record, but we'll see. It might be a little bit too heavy for it, right? This car, we actually did 191 the last time with a 2028 1700. 191 miles an hour, 717 amps. We changed it. So this car used to have this world record body 
and then we now change it just to see the difference, right? We, if you guys remember, we talked about it. We just change it to the FC 100. So we'll see how this one does. Very interesting. Also, I received a V8 that I just finished building by Toyan. So that should be pretty interesting. We're actually doing something very, very funny with it. So uh, stay tuned to this video. This is a model. This one is an, a real working engine. This Limitless is a brand new build, Limitless V2, of course, with uh, 1700, 2028, obviously XLX2, you know the drill, just a brand new roller since I crashed the last one. And with the quad motor, uh, something pretty interesting. So the quad motor used to have the Porsche body, right? And uh, it was great. I think if I remember correctly, the last time we did was 183 miles an hour. This one is going to actually change to, this going to actually receive the world record body. And then the batteries, we did 183 miles an hour with two 6S. I'm thinking about putting two 7S or 8S. So we'll see, or bigger milliamps, and then I will have less voltage drop and trying to push for the 190 miles an hour, maybe even if it'll get there because it's extremely heavy, definitely have the power to do over 200 miles an hour easy. Uh, very tricky one because it's super, super heavy car, but uh, we'll see about that. What else I have to show you? Monsters, this one is coming, this one is coming. This one is going for a different project that I can't really tell you yet because I want it to be a surprise. Oh, this video, man, let me tell you, I invested like three weeks in the making of this video with the FG. We kind of made it look like a Hollywood scene, like a Hollywood, we made it look like a real car. And we spent like three weeks on this video. We put it out there, uh, I think like two days ago, man, <laughs> let me tell you, for some reason, the algorithm hated it. So most of you guys never even seen it. Uh, actually, it's two minutes. Maybe I'll just show it real quick. Yeah, I'll just show it real quick. If you guys already seen it, you can just skip two minutes. If you guys haven't seen it, uh, enjoy the next two minutes and I'll see you in a minute. Yeah, why not? Let's do that. Dude, no one will ever know. Of course they will. Well, they will have to watch it again to figure it out, that's for sure. <laughs> All right, guys, good job, good job, great job today. Let's go home, good night. Right, so we thought it's going to be a super, super cool video. Let me tell you, no one thought it was a cool video. Well, some of you guys did, but no one actually watched it. The algorithm didn't even show it to anyone. It was just embarrassing. Uh, three weeks spent, but it is what it is. You win some, you lose some. And this is a video that I spent literally like three weeks making five, six, six or seven, sorry, even different. Yeah, seven different locations. 
And uh, because every shot was like three seconds and five seconds here and four seconds there. And we waited for weather to be good. So we invested a ton and it, just nothing happened with it. So pretty sad. Uh, but that's pretty much it. This is the conclusion. Just wanted to give you guys an, a quick update video. Just something a little bit more personal from me to you guys throughout this beautiful holiday uh, season. Very cold, let me tell you. I know you're all expe uh, experiencing it. It's very, very cold. I don't really know how powerful and strong this thing is, but dude, eight V8. Like, it didn't came with plugs, so that kind of sucks that you have to get eight plugs and whatnot, but uh, they really did an incredible job. We built this thing together. Uh, video is coming soon. We're actually doing something super, super funny with this one. I don't want to spoil the, uh, to ruin the surprise. But we're doing something epic and like really, really funny with this motor. But uh, dude, V8, you can grab in your hand, like in the palm of your hand. Like this is actually pretty amazing. They did a great job. So uh, stay tuned for this one. If you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for being part of the family. It means the world. And if you're not, uh, consider joining us and just subscribing to the channel. It'll be great uh, having you here. I'm Ross Schifrin. Merry Christmas. I love you guys. Again, thank you for all the support and what you mean to me personally in my life. So thanks. Merry Christmas. Making our Christmas memories. I've been working so much lately. I can barely find the time to sleep. Yeah, I spend my time running around, keeping people pleased. But this is my favorite holiday It's a chance to start over new Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you These are the good times with you Baby, this year it's just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire and chill Isn't this how it's supposed to be? In our Christmas memories, oh, and I've been longing to hold you close. Forget about everything else. What's going on over here? You guys still here? What are you doing? Go be with your families. Weirdos, dude. Weirdos. Just a bunch of freaking weirdos. Making our Christmas memories. I've been wrapping presents for you I've been hanging marbles in the tree And I've lit my house with Christmas lights So you should come back home to me